Morning everyone. I have my bacon, egg and ketchup sandwich. Enjoying the bacon. The bacon Pete got yesterday from the English store is really good. I have my best friends here. And there's the scarf Ash picked up for me. I'll show you the ends has the pink on it. I'll show you it later because it really does go nicely together. It looks like um, orange sorbet. I'm going to eat this while it's hot, drink my tea. Having a lazy Monday. It's 12 o'clock and I need to shower and get out. Hello Ash. Got some more soap and glory stuff. Porsche. Duncan. So here's Connecticut guys. We're not in New York. New York. New York. Not in New York anymore. So we're gonna run over now so I can get some of my shampoo. That was clever. Nice. Thank you for that. I hate this song. What is it? Justin Timberlake's oh. suit and tie. His love for suit and ties. I don't really understand. His love for suit and ties? Because <laughs> he says all I need is my suit and tie. <laughs> and it sounds like he's talking about a girl, but he's really talking about that, I think. So we're at Burger King, getting a couple of burgers and lunch for madam before she goes to work and I'm getting chicken strips I'm excited everybody it's a little bit after three and Ash and I went and did some errands as you saw I only went out to get my shampoo I use Pantene love Pantene and I use, and that's what I use um, all the time and then in the summer I use the Avon what's it called uh, the one for anti-frizz anyway which I absolutely love with the orange top I use that and uh, but every now and again I need a change and I love this I only get it a couple of times the bandit hair it's really good so I usually get the green one you can't really tell but this is blue I've got the blue one this time that's the shampoo and that's the conditioner and then Ash was going to run into Sephora for me when she went I wasn't with her when I found the soap and glory and I don't want her looking around like crazy but she was going to do it for me anyway but then I remembered or I thought couldn't remember really if there was a Sephora in so Ash looked it up and of course there is so we ran over there and um, went in and I picked up what I wanted now I know I love the hand soap and the the hand food I got the body wash I'm going to try that they didn't have the other one there's one called lean on me which I wanted to try but they were out of that and then there was this clean girls one so I got this and then um, they had this itty bitty hand lotion hand food for the bag so I just grabbed a small one of those this is the scarf that Ash picked up for me yesterday there's the pink with the orange and I just love it and it's really big so it's just folded in half it's really large so which is good timing because it just started to snow but I'm excited about that because I want to do the bright orange one so um, what else did I do so that's all we did then I ran and oh I had to get my tea bags I was out tea bags so I went to get my Tetley British blend tea bags I had one tea bag left that never happens trust me so I ran in the grocery store and I went right to the tea bag and out because I knew Ash needed to get back to relax a bit before work. She has to leave soon. While we were in Sephora, she got the dreaded text, which either means you're being cancelled for the day, they need you in earlier, or they need to add a shift. She she was like, oh, I don't want to look. But um, her shift is the same for tonight, but they've asked her to come in tomorrow. She wasn't on, on tomorrow, but now she is. So. She gets two days off this week, not three. But she's going to do it. She'll be grateful when the money comes in and she can spend it at Sephora or Ulta. I'm going to go watch a bit of TV, put my stuff away. <laughs> my huge haul. At 4.30, Pete's mother's going to come pick us up. She, We were going to go visit Pete's dad tonight, but she wants us to go with her. For her and she wants to pick us up. And then I think we're going to run to the diner afterwards. She was saying that at this rehab center, it's really quite confusing when you go in. So she was trying to explain to Pete where it was. But then she said she wants to go as well. So I said, well, we'll pick you up. 
but she's picking us up. So we'll see her around 4.30ish, go visit Pete's dad, see how he's doing, because I haven't seen him this week at all. Pete saw him at the beginning of the week when he was first admitted uh, into hospital, but hasn't seen him since he's been at rehab, which will be, well, it's just a week today, I think. So we need to go visit him because Pete's back at Consumers tomorrow. And then I have Miss Katie come in in the afternoon and Ash is now working. So I will be carless and all that good stuff. So I hope everyone had a great Monday and we will talk to you in a little bit. Just got home. It's about nine o'clock. Went with Pete and his mum to go see Pete's dad. He's actually on the floor for brain rehab. Helping him walking and doing different things, speech therapy and everything. So we stayed with him for a while, it was good because he was just getting his dinner when we got there, so we were chatting. And then as we left, Pete's mom said she had called Pete's brother and sister and sister-in-law and niece and we all met at the diner for dinner. It was good to see everybody, so we just ate. And I guess his dad's asking when he's coming home. I saw there's no end site in view at the moment. Um, he was saying tonight, you know, I just want to know, I want you to find out if it's going to be two weeks or six months, you know, how long I'm going to be here. But he seemed in pretty good spirits. He's lost an awful lot of weight, you know, but at least he's working at it. He's been in there now six days, but only two days as he's really worked out to the fullest because between weekends and then today, holiday, tomorrow they're back to full staff and he'll be on his regular program and it looks like every couple of hours he's doing something Roxy just came in to find me so as we leave the diner it was snowing pretty hard but then when we get home it's not snowing here so I don't know if we're supposed to get snow or not apparently there's a big big front coming through for Friday but uh, for tonight I think it's just flurries on and off the parts of I was driving home it was white over but here there's absolutely nothing and we're only from 10 minutes away from Pete's mum's house. His sister dropped us off. So what else happened? Nothing really. It was good to see everybody and catch up. My brother-in-law was on as usual. I would have videoed, but I was so exhausted and it was quite busy in the part of the diner we were sat in. But I had, what did I have? It looked pretty good. Well, it tasted good, I mean. I had the Greek gyro panini. It was good. I could only eat a little bit of it, so I bought the rest home. Couldn't eat the fries. Pete had a burger. Exciting. But uh, yeah, that was it for Monday. Really else exciting. I, would, I was going to video in the car too, but Pete's mum was kind of talking about some personal stuff, so I couldn't obviously get the video out. Oh, but we also, her car wasn't broken into. Pat called this morning. His mum's car didn't start. So Pete told Pat, you know, how to get it started. It's but while she had it running in the driveway to recharge the battery or whatever they did, um, someone went into it because when she got in the car to come get us, she noticed the center console was all messed up and a lot of things were pulled out, but she can't see anything that's missing. They didn't take the GPS or anything like that, so it's kind of odd. I don't know if someone just jumped in it to be stupid or play around or what, but but they'll check it out properly in the daylight tomorrow. But she said, it's his dad's, I don't know whether it was kids just horsing around, like I said, or, I mean, obviously the car's there, because we were in it. I seem to be waffling now, so I am gonna love and leave you guys for tonight. Sorry if this is dark. I just wanna get changed, put my pajamas on, and uh, looks like the old bachelor's on TV over there. Roxy's barking ahead off downstairs. She's not getting dinner because she had dinner before we left, but she, I think she wants a biscuit. Every time Roxy takes a wee, she reckons she should have a biscuit. <laughs> she won't be quiet. Pete's telling her to be quiet. Can hear her. All right, guys, I'm going to say goodnight. They're all coming up. I will love and leave you for tonight. Hope everyone had a great Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.